you want. But you have to ask yourself if you're getting the right information. So you want to surround yourself with those right people. So I know that's what you're doing right now. Like for me, I sat down, me and my wife uh, sat down on uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and we just planned out 2023. And we don't look at the whole year. We kind of set up what we're going to meet about every month but we broke that down in categories. And I know you're all doing that too. And you're doing things like, what do you want your finances to be? What do you want your, your life to be, whatever. And you know, in the gym, we focus a lot on fitness. So strong side is all about working out, nutrition, eating well, living well, moving well, fueling well, like all that kind of stuff. But no matter what the goals are, these three things are really gonna hold you to it. These three things you can use in any goal category and it will allow you to achieve your goals consistently. Because the worst thing is to set a goal and then you go try to achieve it and all that happens is it's another thing that you can't do. Because it's another thing that you failed at, right? You don't want that. So as we get into it, number one is you need to commit, you need, you need three things. The first thing is commitment. And here's what I mean by that. When you set a goal, when you say, this is what I wanna do this year, this is what I want to accomplish, you have to commit and you have to commit time and money. So any commitment that doesn't involve time or money is more than likely not going to be successful. So if like, like, like we're in the gym space, right? So if you join Strong Side, it's a whole bunch of group classes. Like behind me, there's 30 people in here working out. Uh, before that, there was another 30. It's like group workout classes. It's freaking awesome. You should get involved. But there's a difference between saying, I'm gonna do the free workouts in the park and I'm going to pay for a gym membership. And then there's different levels. Like you can go pay 10 bucks a month for Planet Fitness and never go or you can pay 150 bucks a month and you'll more than likely come to strong side. Now there's also levels of involvement and connectivity and, and, and elements like that, but you have to commit time and money to it. Um, just like, why don't you work out at your house? Because it's probably very cost effective. You didn't probably have to commit much money at all. I'll get some DVDs, sign up for an app, something like that. And uh, there wasn't any real time because you could, you could negotiate the time, you could push the time, you could say, I'm gonna work out anytime I want, you know, like, like some other time, right? Every commitment has to have time and money attached to it. And a big reason for that is it holds you accountable. So the commitment of time and money allows you to stay accountable to what you set out to do. Um, just like when you bought a house, you said, I'm going to sign up for a 30 year loan and I'm gonna have a mortgage. You committed time of 30 years, 15 years, whatever your mortgage was. And you committed money like to a home because it was an investment that you wanted and you want your health to be an investment. So you need time and money inside those commitments. I would also encourage you to tell a few people. I think if you tell too many people about your goals, it's easy to fail um, because it, like it becomes diluted. There's not really any intimacy around it. You just kind of, if you tell a hundred people about your goals, you put it on Facebook that you're going to lose a hundred pounds. I mean, maybe, maybe it motivates you to do it, but that's so many people that nobody's going to hold you accountable because nobody knows who should hold you accountable. But if you have five friends and you tell five of them or three of them, and, and you ask for, hey, I'm gonna put this money in this situation, I'm gonna put this time commitment, you know, like whatever, I got this goal I wanna reach. Those three people will know to hold you accountable. Those three people will more than likely go to lunch with you or dinner with you and ask you how that goal is going. Uh, hey, have you reached your uh, goal savings amount of what you wanted to save in your bank account this year? Have you lost that 15 pounds? They're gonna hold you accountable if you have a weight loss goal and you order cheesecake, right? Like. If you can tell just a couple people about that account, uh, accountability, then you'll be good to go. So number one is commitment. Commitment, you need a commitment that has time and money attached to it. You need to uh, hold, hold, that helps hold you accountable and then tell a few people. Number two is you need a plan. So here's the deal. A plan is different than a good idea. So I don't care what your goals are. As you're setting up 2023, as you're trying to get involved with all this stuff, a plan is just the cool thing that you want to do. So uh, the plan is I want to eat better. The plan is I want to, uh, I'm sorry, the good idea, sorry. The good idea is I want to eat better. The good idea is I want to make more money. The good idea is run more. That's not an actual plan. 
uh, you know, when I say eat better, the plan is meal prep. I'm going to uh, look at a meal prep service or I'm going to have a diet template or I'm going to um, not, I'm only going to go out to lunch two days a week rather than five days a week. You need action items is really what you need. If I say work out more, that's like a good idea. The plan is a 10 to 6 a.m. class four days a week. I'm not a big fan of good ideas. Everybody has good ideas. Save more money, be healthier, read more, uh, focus on sleep. Those are, those are really good ideas, but they're not actual tangible plans on what you're gonna do. So like I have our leadership team make quarterly objectives. And at the end of every quarter, they have to plan their next quarter. And they can give three, I'm sorry, two to three objectives. And those objectives should be so clear that anybody reading that fully understands what they're trying to accomplish. And that one sentence should tell me what you want to do. And then underneath that, you can have three to four action items to reach that objective. And I find that works really well. And it might be something you want to use in your goal setting too. So what that means, if you're going to write that down, that anybody reading that should know exactly what you want to accomplish. Lose more weight is not an objective. Lose five pounds is an objective. So, my phone's blowing up. Um, but, so, that that's the objective. You need to be super crystal clear in what you're trying to accomplish, and then you need a plan on how you're going to get there. Again, a plan is just is different than just a good idea. What is the actual things you wanna do and the actual steps? And I know that sounds really easy, but get somebody to, like you should be able to write down your goals on a piece of paper and then slide it to somebody and they could read it with no knowledge of what you're trying to accomplish and know exactly what you wanna do. Like you might say, I want to lose 20 pounds, but if you write down lose weight, when you slide the paper to that person, they're gonna think 10 pounds. Gonna, what exactly do you wanna do? Look better. You know, if you're going to, on a beach trip or something like that, if you write that down and you slide that across the, uh, the, the table to somebody, they're not gonna know what that means. So that's why a plan is really important. So by plan, I don't mean micromanage everything out and you gotta put it in this calendar. You know, however you wanna execute it is up to you but you need a pretty detailed plan on how you plan to achieve it. You know, if you wanna get in the best shape of your life, you can't just say join strong side. Cool, join strong side, attend classes four days a week, log my workouts, get on the in body four times a year. You know, all, that's my plan, right? You need a real plan more so than just good ideas to reach your goals. Do that with anything. And the third thing, is you need a why. You need a why on why you wanna do this. I'm a huge fan of going two layers deep. So I'll give you an example. Make any goal. Maybe you wanna comment your goals uh, below in the comment section, whatever. You need to go two layers deep. So if you say, I wanna lose weight, what's gonna keep you doing this in March? Uh, like, what's gonna keep you going? You have to ask yourself why and then why again. So number one, I wanna lose weight. Or I wanna, you know, going back to the other two things that I said, be specific with it, I wanna lose 10 pounds. Why do you wanna lose 10 pounds? And then when you answer this, ask yourself why again, and you'll get down to the third part. So what do you wanna do? Why do you wanna do it? Why again? I wanna save $20,000. Okay, you wanna save $20,000. Why do you want to save $20,000? And then answer another why to that question. If you can go two layers deep, you're going to find out the root cause. Because going one layer deep or staying with the surface, I want to lose 20 pounds or something like that, that's not going to keep you motivated or disciplined when things get really, really hard. You have to lean on something deeper than that. Wanting to run for the sake of running is not gonna keep you running when it's raining outside, when you feel bad, when you're not, when you're just not feeling it today, right? You gotta have a why behind the why. You gotta go two layers deep. So these are just general concepts. You know, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear you comment below. I'm gonna be taking this a step further and I'm gonna be doing a free webinar for everybody. 
I'm gonna do a free webinar later in January. We're about to drop the date for it. We have close to 100 people already signed up for this webinar. It is a free webinar. You're getting a free workbook with this webinar. And we're gonna, we're not specifically gonna talk about goal setting. What we're gonna do is look at your body type. And we're gonna look at your body type and break it into three different care, uh, areas and give you strategies to reach, the, the, to reach your goals based on your body type. So when you hear this and you're like, okay, I got it, Mitchell. I got that I'm gonna set these goals for 2023. And I got that I need to commit. And by commit, that means put time and money with something. I need to plan. And a plan is different than just a good idea. And to have real strategies and action items on what I'm going to do. And I need to have a why. And a why is going two layers deep. Okay. When you get that, then how do you adjust your actions to reach your goals? And again, your actions need to be the specific details. So in this webinar that I'm gonna do, we're gonna break down your body type. And we're gonna say, okay, you have these goals, you have these things that you wanna do, your body stores fat in its belly. Well, somebody else's body stores fat in its thigh, in their thighs. Uh, somebody gains a lot of muscle, somebody doesn't gain a lot of muscle. These are different, normal, different body types. And they're called endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. And when you understand your body type, you're going to be able to make nutrition, dietary, I'm sorry, dietary supplementation and lifestyle changes to reach your goals based on that. And that's all the stuff that I'm going to teach in that webinar. Now you got two ways to sign up for this webinar. The easiest way is just comment, I'm in below. If you comment, I'm in, in the comment section below, then we are going to send you a link to register for this webinar. And like I said, it's totally free, no strings attached. I'm going to put in a credit card or anything like that. And, uh, and then you're going to get a free workbook with that webinar as well. But what I want to do is take this goal setting thing a step closer or a step further. And now that we have your goals and we have these three ways to reach your goals, how do we implement a clear strategy to reach those goals? So I hope that helped you. I hope that helped you. I'm going to be doing these uh, Facebook lives twice a week. And again, my name is Mitchell. If we haven't met, uh, I'm the owner of strong side and you know, like my story is that I've been where you're at. I don't care what physical level you're on. I've been there. I was five, five, 200 pounds, hated everything about my life. You know, I know the challenges and what we want to do is, is, is eliminate or help guide you through a lot of those challenges to make your life just a little bit easier. And we can provide really solid answers to that. And as you're getting set up in 2023, like I joked around earlier, you know, our gyms are packed right now. Parking lot, I'm looking at a completely full parking lot. I got people waiting in the lobby over here. You hear the class behind me. You know, it's just awesome. And as cool as that is, we need to make sure that this is still going in April, May, June, July. And you have to be able to take your goals. You have to be able to break them down. Because I think we all want to be millionaires, right? But what's the difference between me and Jeff Bezos? We both came out naked and pink. But what decisions did we make? What actions did we make along our journey to achieve whatever you define as success? And to close the gap on your success, you're gonna need commitment, like I broke down, time and money. You gotta commit time and money. If Using the example of exercise, do you know how many home gyms have died? Uh, do, do you know how many things have just, oh, this was great when I got started and then wound up not going anywhere, right? Commit. I'm going to do a 12 month membership. I'm going to do a six month membership. Commit time, commit money to whatever your goals are, and you will be more successful. I promise you that you will be more successful hiring somebody to manage your money than trying to manage it on your own. Uh, plan. Your plan has to be more than just a good idea. Your plan should involve specific actions on how you plan to reach your goals. What exactly are you going to do to reach your goals? Um, you know, like I put the example, eat better. Eat better is a good idea, dude. Uh, you need to plan, okay, what's my meal plan? Like, what am I eating? How many calories or macros or whatever you're doing? And then why? Go two layers deep on your why. Okay, here's my goal. I want to do this. Why do you want to do it? Okay, answer that and then ask why again. Go two layers deep. All right, so I'm excited for 2023. I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can contact me. You can contact anybody on our team and we will get you set. But 2023 is going to be an amazing year, team. Let's rock and roll. Let's stick to these three strategies around your goals. And I cannot wait to see you at this webinar at the end of January. Let's rock and roll.